HIV latency is a reversible state where the virus stops replicating to evade immune recognition. Researchers are looking at new ways to reactivate HIV so that the immune system can recognize these viral cells. Gene transcription, mediated by RNA polymerase II, is a multi-step process. Before productive elongation, RNA polymerase II is paused at proximal promoter regions. The polymerase-associated factor I complex, PATH1C, is comprised of five subunits. However, the interaction between PATH1 and CTR9 is essential for PATH1 complex assembly. Through structural-based screening, a postdoctoral fellow, Dr. Shaime Solomon, in the Shalatifard Laboratory at Northwestern University School of Medicine, identified a small molecule inhibitor called IPATH1C. IPATH1C disrupts the interaction between PATH1 and CTR9. IPATH1C has been tested for its latency reversal potential in HIV patient samples not responding to current therapy and it has shown a promising effect as a novel therapeutic drug. PATH1C acts as a transcriptional break, limiting the release of RNA polymerase II into gene bodies. The depletion of PATH1 results in increased elongating RNA polymerase II and HIV activation. By releasing RNA polymerase II, these reactivated viral cells will then express the viral HIV proteins allowing the immune system to recognize these cells and clear the infection.